Well, hello people, and welcome back to part 46 of the Build Guide 2. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much indeed for all the support last time. I right, guys really enjoyed our little cargo port here, and a super chungus boy, isn't it? Lots of nice, thick, chunky industrial assets. And today, we're going to carry on the expansion of this new part of Orchid Bay. Uh, we had a great comment last time that a ferry terminal would work nicely out here, and of course it would, because we've got the outside connection with the ships. And we've not done a transport hub for a while and we've also got four train lines that need to converge and end over here so i'm thinking some bus ferry and train transport hub action with some nice roads a bit of highway detailing should be a lot of fun see what we can do with no a transport hub shall we so we also had another great suggestion last episode that we should possibly have a cargo airport out here which i think we're going to do a little bit further down uh, to fill some of this space so we'll definitely do that at some point as well but whilst we're playing with some new ferry stuff i want to drop in some keys of course while we're playing with chunkier waterfront infrastructure so let's come into our transport hub stuff and we will grab ourselves there's three of them now isn't that that we can play with i think i want to use the harbor bus hub here and if we can place this right at the end of the key that'll probably be ideal maybe a touch further over than that actually bring it over more towards in the middle something like that i think it should be quite nice uh, so also want train lines coming out of here as well so let's start bringing up uh, some road frames on 90 degree angles so we can start to position some stuff so if we went for we can actually bring one out in the middle let's come off our road guideline here so we make sure we're in perfect units of 10. we'll go for 15 and then we'll have this one come here now there's kind of a bit of a lack of i guess medium-sized train uh infrastructure in the game we could use the old market station but it's a little bit out of place here isn't it i just don't think it really belongs in this particular space even though it does give me the number of platforms that i want i think what we will do is actually use the japan content creator pack and form our own train station essentially so let's use the railroad of japan large one okay so we can pretty much centralize it with that asset can't we a little bit of symmetry is always appreciated and then if we can have another one here, need a touch more room than that. And this today should finally complete a lot of the train lines that have been waiting to be completed for a very long time. Cool. And then we will have this one open so the trains can actually flow out here, of course. And then this four lane can just uh, reposition itself probably up to about here. Let's just adjust these curves so we have more room to play with. Get a road guideline as we approach this one too. So let's pause the game while we decide exactly how and where our train infrastructure is going to come in. Because the highway is already embanked, it's definitely going to make sense, I think, to feed the train lines under the highway and then have some sort of bridge infrastructure here. So let's see if we can manage that. We'll probably break it up to here as well. And again, give ourselves more room in terraforming. So there's a train line and a road that needs to come from here. One there, one there, and then there's one here as well. So let's push these back, give ourselves a bit more room. And now let's start feeding our train infrastructure out. But we're going to have different trains stopping here, aren't we? So I reckon it's probably best to align our train lines first. Let's go for that one. We'll hit the guideline here as well. And then hopefully a little freeform curve back in should keep everyone happy, as yes, it will. And then we'll also use the same grid snappings here as well to align these platforms. So we'll just go... Up to the top here. Something like that. Cool. So now we can have four train lines coming into two stations. And now let's follow this one around. So we're going to have some really nice parallel network action happening here. Alongside elevated highways. It should be a, pr a very pretty part of the map. This actually once we I get to finishing it today. Lots of network details behind as well. Lots of fun. So this is going to be the one that runs straight out of downtown. And we'll have this meander somewhere through here and we can obviously factor in at another station once we come to build this area out what exactly lies over here and we did have some good suggestions last episode so let's see if we can somewhat sink this realistically into the mountain maybe needs a touch more drop down than that doesn't it i think that's more of what i'm after yeah so it goes into the landmass rather than down into the earth and then underground it's not massively important we respect the train please here they should be okay 
so we'll curve it under the mountain put on our topography tool here too just so we can see where we want to come out so if we could emerge out the mountain mass about there that should be pretty sensible right hopefully that's not going to upset train please today not on a monday of all days so again happy curves and road guideline meetups should be sensible here so now we can actually extend that downtown line although i think we're actually going to feed this as a new train line aren't we because these ones do run on the same line together yeah that's fine then so we will actually start a new train line here which will come serve this suburb eventually but for right now it only has one stop on its destination so it can just run that until it has somewhere else to go which is tremendous we'll hopefully see that train moving around now well, we will at some point anyway today and i think with the other one uh, this will now feed into that brick London keys area that we have uh, that we built quite a while ago so we'll just match up with some road curves and reform angles here and run with some rather nice parallel train spices here and we can probably feed this up and alongside this arterial road as well that comes out of downtown to again meet up with the one that is sinking underground from this way let's see if we can have it match the gradient of the tunnel with the road too and that's not amazing I'll, I'll definitely i'll probably change that off camera rather than messing about with it here because it takes a thousand years in vanilla cool so that one goes there there's also another tunnel here as well which i think we're just gonna have these guys share the same line they'll just merge onto the tunnel at which point this platform can now come down into the new hub and we'll have it stop on the middle train and then we also want to reintroduce those stops back here that we moved fabulous so there's now two trains coming into here well then what happened to that other one I get deleted you okay oh it's moved now hasn't it it's actually gone that way because it's faster because it's sharing the line okay <laughs> i don't actually want it to do that so to remedy that we are going to have to add in a temporary station out this way aren't we so let's do that while we're here we'll just go for something pretty rudimentary for right now but as long as it works it'll be okay let's just go for that small ground station it'll do for right now for whatever build ends up being out here we can just factor that train station into it. So it pieces networks back together and then we'll get that train reflowing back down this line where it should be going. Cool, so on this line, I want you to stop here. Then also on your way back out of this station too, you should also stop there. There we go, that should keep those two train services separate now. Very nice, fabulous to see. Uh, don't worry about the broken highway we will reinstate that in a second now with these other two lines these are going to have to come through a pretty significant mountain range to make it over here but it will connect in all this train infrastructure that runs through this way into the opposite part of the map so hopefully we can bring this train line out somewhere about here so this one comes out from this platform here from biffa garden which has been left disconnected for a considerable amount of time, which will now finally have a service running to it. I'm sure Biffa will be over the moon with that one. Really nice to see all these parallel train lines, isn't it? Very exciting. Cool. So the other side of it, I think, is going to go in a, quite a bit of a different direction. We're probably going to bring this through the other side, maybe down to Shay's Mineral Storage, and then have it knock about maybe over here before it completes the loop, passing back through the cargo airport to eventually hook in with the back end of this station and linking up to complete the loop. But for right now, we don't really need to worry about having that one connected in, I don't think. But we can now run another service down from this train station, which can finally be turned on. So let's grab our train line. You will come from here and down into here. And then currently back again because that rest of the line doesn't exist, but again, Public transport prep, always massively important, isn't it? Wonderful news. But now let's reinstate our highway roads and we can do some fun things with the embankment here. Hopefully it's not going to be too much of a job to get these bridges back over in a tight space. We should be okay, I think. You'll probably want to actually 
adjust the curves here too. They're a little not overly sharp, aren't they? That was also upgraded into three lane highway at this point. We'll bring some lane maths in now we're properly developing this intersection. And again, a little road guideline curve should just ease those curves out a little bit because they were a little bit nasty. Special. Wonderful. And this can come back this way. And to change our elevation, you boys should hopefully just play nicely. Please do. Cool. Yeah. Nice simple bridge stretches over the side and road guideline and curve should help as well. We're not playing with too many horrendous gradients there, are we? No, we're, we're pretty sensible. And then we'll keep the three lane going up until the road slips down and then the lane maths can also kick in. And do the same thing this side. Should hopefully be pretty easy to get this in, I think. Special. And then push this back the other way and that lane maths can kick in again there as the slip ramp joins the highway. Uh, we could go for industrial highway here actually. Is it really going to make that much of a difference? The bridge is a little thinner which I think I prefer you know so I think we might actually run with that. Cool. Lots of overgrowth and detail to be had in here as well uh, once it all comes together. And uh, hopefully we'll see. I, could, I can't imagine there's too many people coming down here right now because there's nothing out here for them. Just look at that, not enough buyers of products <laughs> from the steel pond. Couldn't keep the bloody thing supplied last episode and now it can't find anyone to buy the bloody steel. It's fine, be alright, someone will buy it eventually. But uh, Transport Hub is developing here now isn't it? Uh, we do have bus lines here and I imagine we'll feed bus transport into the towns that lie out this way eventually. But we could probably now hook that little uh, valley road in couldn't we? Let's see if we can do that now. So is this one here I wanted to bring in? A uh, big shout out to Bad Wolf as well on the Discord for uh, shouting out the view um, of Perth and the skyline here that we've replicated. Uh, it's quite similar. Very happy with that has to be said. So let's bring this mountain road take me to the transport hub now. Doesn't quite have <laughs> the same ring as country roads does it? And we'll try and do this without triggering the gradient, please. But this is a mountain road, so you know, gradients are okay. Let's uh, see if we can just soften this valley a little bit. No, I don't think it's necessary to take it to the head of the valley. I think maybe just kind of into the mountain gully about there is going to be acceptable if I can use the right road. There we go. And then we'll sink it here. Guess that looks a little bit realistic there, doesn't it? And we still maintain the view as they uh, essentially emerge out of the tunnel, if we can replicate that for a second. Get ourselves into the tunnel. Yeah, gonna have a really cool drive out here, aren't they? Really nice. I bet this is gonna look sweet at night time. <laughs> oh yes, wow. Goodness gracious. Now that is a drive, isn't it? Very cool. So satisfying to see that skyline finally in. Long time waiting for that view, everyone. A good seven months of it. Oh, hello. There is a wolf out here. So what we haven't done for a while is uh, headed over to the hunting grounds to see if there's anything still lingering around over there. Let's have a little look. See what's going on. There is as well. Oh my god, there's three of them back now. The wolf, the cougar, and the deer have all returned to the hunting grounds, everyone. <laughs> I love that. They're still spawning here, despite the fact they're in the middle of the Metropolitan Orchid Bay. <laughs> they're still, still spawning in the hunting grounds. What a park, everyone. Absolutely delicious. Carnivorous deer are still top of the food chain in Orchid Bay, it would seem. Anyway, returning to the road. So, let's bring this... We just keep it on a straight angle, can't we? Now, if at all possible, it'd be cool to bring this in a bridge over the highway as it emerges out of its tunnel. Possibly at that height right there should be pretty good, actually. So we'll have that come over. To look something like that. We could switch out for a content creator road here. Just to get the truss. But probably not necessary. Let's bring our road frames out now. We will actually keep this one going as four lane. Because this will eventually go down towards that cargo airport that we'll have out here. That can meander somewhere down there for right now, to be continued at some point. 
Let's bring this just across our bridge or our rail. And then just want to come straight down. Is that going to be the easiest solution? I'm very keen to see someone use that line actually. Let's also get rid of these crap vanilla train models. Uh, they're pretty, pretty quiet lines. So let's do the smaller capacity ones. Let's get the bullet train here. And so I'm surprised there's a few people using this one actually. Didn't really think there would be, but there we go. At least someone's using it. Uh, and then we'll have the Railroad of Japan Express train coming through here too. Cool. So it's nice to see some infrastructure developing over this side now, isn't it? Uh, I should have really prepared this connection as well, shouldn't I, before we uh, connected those back in. I guess what we could do actually is rather than having it come back out, we can just let it share this connection and then it can split off again. Maybe further down here, somewhere over there if it needs to. We'll, we'll decide that later on. So this is interesting. We've got a cruise ship of 100 people arriving into the harbour for the first time. Let's now just see how they choose to get around Orchid Bay. Hopefully they're all going to take the trains into downtown. One pocket car so far. Two, three pocket cars. Four was that. Okay, four pocket cars out of 100 is pretty good. Maybe that was a fifth hour, was it that red one? That's a decent... Decent rate. Oh, you are alright? <laughs> what the hell are these guys doing? <laughs> Jumping with excitement so much they're flying through the corrugated iron they can't wait to get to Walker Bay. So that's the downtown train that runs through Brickwind and Keys, that one. But otherwise it looks as though they're waiting for the express into the downtown without having to go through Brickwind and Keys. Okay, that's quite exciting though. More and more cruise ships are dropping off and pretty much everyone choosing to walk, which is... Just, just wonderful, right? You can't ask for, for anything more than that. Uh, this train seems to be taking a, a good time to come. Here we go. It's coming now, isn't it? Let's watch it come in. Always enjoy setting up transport hubs. Just so much fun. Oh, there we go. That. <laughs> so good. Uh, I'd love some elevated walkways as well, if we can get them. And we'll start developing some stuff over here. Uh, I'd like a little bit of commercial. And I reckon we can probably afford uh, a unique building in here as well. Let's see what's available to us. I wouldn't mind one of King Leno's department stores out here, you know. Just as a bit of shopping. By the water. See if we can complement with a little bit of low density commercial over here as well. Be careful with what assets are allowed to come in. Alright. Uh, let's have a look at some university pathways because we can definitely play with some cute little elevations here as well and hopefully have some pathways running in here if they're not too steep although they probably might be there yeah we can run them in stretches of 82 which is a little steep but i think it's something i can live with let's repeat the measurement this side just so it is symmetrical even though it's not mirrored but we'll have the same ramp length either side I guess as well, actually, we probably could just remove these connections entirely because it's not as though they're needed. And it will allow us to give more priority to the department store, which we'll just have there for right now. Let's take that frame out and then we can probably get a little bit more room with our pathways here, can't we? So they're not quite as steep. Let's bring them down. We'll also run our pathways up the side as well. Try and make a bit more of a song and dance out of the entrance road here. See if we can tree line it and then maybe grass line the road. Kind of gives it a bit more of a uh, fancier vibe, I suppose, doesn't it? Change those tree line pathways as well. Let's go for... Cool, yeah. Lots of fast food here is definitely the vibe I'm after. Let's keep that going. And I think now we do have a... Where's the nearest bus depot here? Do we need a new bus depot now? There's one... Uh, no, there's one just over the mountain. It's okay. We don't need another one. Uh, let's create the first bus line. And then we'll have this run to the port, I imagine. So people, or well, people that work here have a way uh, back into to work. We'll stop it outside of the main building. Outside of the police station. And then that can just pass back along the highway. Stop again outside the department store and then complete the line here and then this bus should come out of this depot 
here. This should be the closest one. There it is. And then we will just change this to a more industrial looking bus. Maybe the Japanese commuter one. Is that it? Yeah, 74 capacity. Let's change the colour of this line as well. We will eventually at some point uh, totally redraw every public transport line in Orchid Bay to make them more efficient because there'll definitely be more efficient ways around the town now or around the city. But uh, that'll be a entirely separate episode within itself. Uh, cool. So I'm pretty happy with this, I think. Uh, I think I definitely want the department store to face the water. We're going to make a little bit of a waterfront here. Also inclined to maybe upgrade these into the vanilla keys with the trees on now as well. And then let's also do a car park here as well. Do a large decorative one along the back if we can. And then one next door. Cool, transport hub's coming on now. Although no one's using the pathways, which I guess is expected when you can just walk straight down the main road, right? Well, at least it's busy and it's getting some sort of form of use. So I want to continue playing with some unique buildings and we haven't really done too much with some of the Africa stuff. And there's the gold tower here which we're not using. <laughs> I don't know why I was going to talk about that one. But um, I think we could have some fun, you know, with the monument of colossal heroes. So let's delete these networks. But we will bring them back in. Uh, and then we want to use, I guess we'll use tree lines and stuff for this. Uh, let's snap into the grid too. So yeah, we want to do this one. Let's do 180 and then we'll create a holding frame for the unique. Which will centralise, which is massively helpful. So they won't connect back in just because of this connection here. But I think that's okay because it doesn't actually need to be road connection, of course, because they were all walking anyway. So why don't we make this pedestrian pathway? Uh, that will make it need a service point though, won't it? We keep the front section as road, does that help? I bet we can make the sides pedestrian road though. So let's bring these down as far as we can get them. Uh, I definitely want these ones to be pedestrian too. We're just going to have to factor in a little pedestrian zone, which isn't a problem. We can just drop in at a small service point somewhere. Uh, I reckon that's so we can get it next door to the shopping centre. That's probably the most appropriate place for it, isn't it? And then we'll just redraw uh, that holding road back in. And then we'll push the pedestrian area over here. Of course, we want to make sure it's as small as possible in size. Otherwise, it's going to cost us a fortune. Something like that. There we go. And then let's just replay now with our bridges and pathways so we can create a connection here for people to use. Uh, let's go for some zoo pathway. I haven't really used this for a good while, have we? So we're going to run that there. We're going to get some pretty awful terrain tearing just because of the way the height is. Which I would like to avoid. So to combat that, let's remove the height there and then we'll terraform out a little bit just where those pedestrian pathways are going to come up. So the tearing doesn't happen at the next to the road. It should make it a little less obvious. It's little simple, you know, quality of life, moment to moment gameplay. Sort of things like this that I hope are really improved for CS2. Move it, of course, fixes this. <laughs> it does. Yeah, so let's do our same path measurements back down again. Uh, again, yeah, it's going to really irritate me that that's not equidistant, so let's do that again. Yeah, we'll do 22 there, and then we can actually use this one here, because the elevated pathways aren't getting much use at the minute, which is fine. I'm not really expecting them to. Uh, but we can use them to actually get people crossing over into the other train stations. So we'll come down by 82 like that. And then same thing again over here, cross into the middle, into the grid, and then back down again. And then we do need to give another road connection for this one here as well, don't we? So let's bring this one through. We don't want to have it come this way. And we'll come back down here and hopefully hook into that little bridge junction. Cool. That's probably why no one's using that station, isn't it? Because they didn't have it hooked into the road. Idiot egg. There we go. Cool. So, I think I like the Monument of Colossal Heroes here. See how people choose to move around now. 
imagine they're going to take the pathway here. Okay, so now they all take the elevated pathway, which I don't mind. That's what I wanted, but <laughs> I also wanted people to use my damn pedestrian roads as well. I mean, I guess we could flip this around because these other road connections could take it. That would still work. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do that, I think. Look how busy this is already. Not even that much over here yet, either. But anyway, it's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to rotate this basically 180 degrees and then we can see it work. Here we go. This is what I wanted to happen. Uh, so, I think we will actually... Yeah, we'll keep these pathways going up. It's only more walkability for everyone involved. Uh, and then we will also run with... Should we go with these kind of African trees while we're using an African monument? How ridiculous do the Bobab trees look on a pedestrian road? Yeah, pretty, pretty stupid, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think we can get away with those. Tree police will be almost immediately upon us. Uh, and then we'll go for some of the flame trees on the side. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly what I had in mind. And if we did set up a little district here, again, we don't really use African miniature all that often. Uh, so if we were to set it to African miniature and zone up a bit of commerce, we'll see what comes in. See if it works. And now we've got the pedestrian area here too, we can also have uh, assets in these spaces, for which I think ploppable parks would be a very strong shout in that regard. We'll get a restaurant in, Maro Transport Hub. Pond seems a little out of place and also too big anyway. Uh, and then how about... Can we get a couple of park with birches? I think we can. A little bit of back-to-back -back mirrored action. Really flush out the front of the transport hub and make it a proper attractive area for Sims to come and visit. The Monument of Colossal Heroes is actually really, really growing on me. It's a nice little sort of... Oh, it's a monument, isn't it? <laughs> There's no other way to describe it. I'm trying to find another word to say how eye-drawing it is, but it is literally just a monument. So interesting here, isn't it? How the a Sims AI, although I guess maybe they were already programmed into where they wanted to go. But most of them prefer in the elevated pathway as opposed to the pedestrian path, which is definitely the quicker option. Interesting, isn't it? How you just make little changes like that and all of a sudden the AI just totally changes its behaviour. But I'm liking this though, it's coming on. I think another thing we could also factor into this build would be a stadium. Uh, we've still got some decent ones to use from uh, Bad, uh, Sport, yeah, Bad Peanut Sports Pack. And I think City Soccer Stadium would go down quite well. So if we can have this here, and I guess we can actually delete this road here and just have the stadium uh, up against the rail. This should give a pretty cool drive-by, I think. We just have this here. It's also going to sit very nicely up against our highway too, of course. Very cool drive by now hitting the transport hub. See the ferry terminal in the back. Stadium by here as well. Equally as much, we could also look at putting the stadium by the waterfront. Uh, <laughs> it's just so many ideas that pop into my head in an episode. I can't possibly let them all come to fruition. Waterfront stadium would be cool. But equally as much, I think that some Brooklyn and Queens residential here, maybe as some kind of lower income housing for workers near the port, would also go well near the waterfront. Interesting times ahead. I think we're going to go with the stadium by the rail. I just, that was my initial impression. Is this the stadium you want to use as well? We've got the copper ball too. I really want to use the copper ball, guys. Uh, let me know where you want to see it. I have been thinking over by the fossil and bone power plant. Uh, over here, having the copper ball this side of the city, but I really want to use this stadium, so let me know where in Orchid Bay you think the copper ball should go. Uh, it's, it's a little too big for this particular area, I think, so uh, we won't put it here, we'll use a smaller one. But I do like that. Let's surround it with some car parking so it looks a little more stadia like. Uh, we'll go for some back-to-back 4x4 -back units here. And of course this parking will absolutely settle in 
uh, outside a train station as well, so we can attempt to get some, I guess, mixed-use car parking out here too, and possible multi-story vibe as well. Let's go for the other aesthetic. I prefer the one with like the red iron on it. It's always, always appealing. This is fun. Anyone using this line yet? Yeah, it's gradually getting busier. Gradually getting busier, isn't it? People cannot wait to get into downtown Orchid Bay, though, can they? Oh my goodness. That's definitely because of all the unique skyscrapers. <laughs> Everyone just wants to go there. That's the way the AI works. It's going to be so fun, isn't it, come Cities 2, watching all of our new transport links come in and how we, the new pathfinding costs that have been confirmed are going to sort of affect the way we build our transport networks. I'm very much looking forward to the sequel, everyone. I hope you all are as well. But this is... A transport hub that looks like it's ready for a detail and time lapse, I think. We're going to detail up the interchange today as well. Lots of overgrowth fencing around our new networks. Maybe we'll find some of these slip ramps as well. A couple of rock retaining walls, flowers, trees, a commercial refinement. And we'll see what we think of the African miniature stuff up near the monument. It might need to be refined a little bit because we're getting some pretty heavy asset repetition in here. And generally ties face up together, prepare networks to flow into the uh, cargo airport eventually. And generally tie up our transport space today. So let's do some detailing. And we'll be right back.
Okay guys, let's have a little detailing review, shall we? So this has turned into a really fun chance, what's up now? Lots of different ideas going on here. I will start at the edge over by the interchange, which has now been decorated up. Slip ramps also slightly amended with lots of overgrowth, also a little bit of uh, airport apron concrete around the edges of the highway here, and that lay maths coming into play now too. With this beach here, I feel like it's not really appropriate for tourism, just because it's so close to the harbour and the ferries, you imagine the waves on this beach would be pretty horrific, <laughs> not a great place to swim. So not really sure what I want to do with this beachfront, ideas down below for that please. Uh, we've extended the cycle highway uh, in and out of the downtown now, although it's not getting vast amounts of use. Uh, I really thought it would get a little bit more, but no dice really. Uh, it is fully connected all the way down. I guess just trains is faster to get out here. Yeah, they're only really picking up the cycle infrastructure this way. Uh, although then again, I guess the tunnel won't have cycle lanes on it, will it? Which makes no sense, really, I guess. Well, I guess maybe it's dangerous for cyclists to go through the tunnel, so the game won't allow it to happen. Maybe that's why. But either way, we arrive in with the rail networks now that are all super nice and overgrown, very natural looking. Uh, car parking up next to some commercial uh, parks and that uh, colossal monument thing. Uh, settled in really nicely, didn't it? I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we get some insane walking porn around here, especially when there's a match day on too. Just uh, all these pathways just absolutely come to life. Uh, tons of people now using those pedestrian pathways to come out of the ferry depot, which is getting a ton of cruise liners dock at it. You'll see how many are coming from the outside connections. It's constant all day. So loads of intercity tourists arriving into Orchid Bay by this point now. And the vast majority of which are taking the express line back into downtown Orchid Bay. Uh, these trains are nice and busy now, which is good. We'll see an example of it here. People arriving in. Also got some airport aprons out the front of this too, which you can see. And there you go, right? Super satisfying. Lots of people coming and going from downtown. So that's only very more people uh, into the inner city, of course, which is always a good thing for us. As I mentioned, airport apronage around the stations to tie them together to make them a little sort of nicer and more cohesive. Actually connects these two areas together here quite nicely, doesn't it? Uh, we had another great suggestion last episode of including that uh, Brooklyn and Queens stuff. Almost as like some old dock housing for perhaps lower income families and port workers. So really happy with that vibe and it looks great as well. You probably saw me fawning in the detail in time lapse. <laughs> sort of checking it out from... Uh, the port itself, that kind of old sort of brick housing really works well over here, doesn't it? Uh, you'll also notice that there is a hotel over here as well. I uh, just thought it would be appropriate near a transport hub with a little bit of water wall commercial. Now knocking about in that pedestrian area too. Uh, up and over the bridge, which now goes of course down the mountain pass out this way, which is getting a little bit of use, which is nice to see. Uh, we've added in some highway slip ramps. Uh, which is nice, you know, all about alleviating pressure off of main interchanges for which these little slip ramps are perfect for doing that. And then there's also one here just by the stadium, which you can see is getting a little bit of use, which is quite tasteful. And then lots of sound barrier action as we pass by the Brooklyn and Queen stuff, so they don't whinge of noise pollution. But all in all, a really interesting area, and we've also prepared our networks here as well. Of course, to flow down into what I think I'm going to try do a cargo airport out here. We'll see, it might be a tight squeeze, we might need to do a little bit of terraforming in order to get that to fit, but could be cool. Again, idea from you guys, but we'll see if we can squeeze it in, might not be the exact space for it. Uh, but really interesting build today, transport hub centre to start off the community over at this part of Orchid Bay. Uh, lots of people coming and going, uh, really fun, nice build this one. Otherwise guys, that is going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, likes, comments and shares below really do help me out. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, then please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Really love building these transport hubs and this is a big intercity number with lots of train lines now converging with these ferry terminals as well, which is really important. And lots more interconnectivity for the city too with that mountain road now established and the highway properly detailed and connected in. And with more slip ramps, traffic's perfect and everything's just flowing around. Please do enjoy cinematics, but otherwise I'll shut up and leave it there. Let's thank you all so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.